Hi, welcome to Tololi Trails. I'm Jeff, and this is uh, one of the other people that lives here at Camp Tololi. This is a, a painted turtle, and painted turtles are really quite common. Um, if you notice, the turtle is called a painted turtle because it has these bright yellow and red marks all around the edge of its shell. The top of the shell is very smooth and shiny. And these turtles get out onto the logs and they bask in the sunshine whenever it's a warm day like it is today. And uh, painted turtles are, uh, are one of the most common wildlife things that kids see when they come to camp. Kids often ask what kind of turtles we have. And, and uh, the thing is, is that we really only have about two or three kinds of turtles that are in camp. You know, like in this part of New York State, there are probably five or six kinds of turtles that could live here. But the truth is, about 80% of them are painted turtles like this. And, and the remaining 20% are snapping turtles. If you look close, the turtle has broad feet that it uses for swimming, but it also has really long claws. And these claws are part of what I call its four-wheel drive. It uses all four of these sharp clawed feet to climb up onto logs so that it can sun itself every day. In fact, painted turtles like this really need to get out into the sunshine and warm their shell up to about 80 degrees in order to even be able to, to digest their food. So they're gonna try to climb with these, with these uh, claws and get up onto the logs every day that they possibly can. These turtles also can cross a considerable amount of distance on land. In another few weeks, the female uh, painted turtles of this size will be climbing out of, of the lake, going to uh, traditional nesting grounds where there's a sunny location and sandy soil, laying their eggs, and then having to hike all the way back to camp. And now, painted turtles like this will eat a pretty broad range of types of foods. If it can get a hold of some little minnows or some small fish, it would eat those. It would eat tadpoles. It would probably eat small frogs. It would also eat vegetation in the lake. And this turtle has been hibernating underneath um, probably a log at the bottom of the lake uh, for all the winter, and it's recently come back out. Um, kids often ask how old the turtles are, and the answer is with a turtle this size, this is fully an adult sized turtle, they get a little bit bigger, but not a lot bigger. And this is, a, this is a fully adult turtle, probably 20 or 30 years old, and they could live longer. But one of the things that's interesting about turtles is that they are cold-blooded and they have to shed their outer scales. We think of reptiles as having scales, but remember, here on the shell, each of these scutes is an individual scale. And as the turtle grows bigger, it has to shed these scales typically about once a year or so. And in the middle of the summer, you will often see these turtles with these scutes peeling back and peeling off. And um, when the turtle is very young, you can sometimes get a clue to their age by looking at how the shoots have been peeling off. I'll show you what I mean. I did my glasses to see this. These are some very young little turtles, and they're the same kind, also painted turtles. And if you look on their backs, on their backs, you can see the individual shoots, and they have rings on the inside, a little bit like tree rings. So if you look close, close, there's a ring, there's a ring, there's another ring. So in each, each one of the shoots, you can see scars from the previous shoots that have been um, that have been shed. So in rough sense, it looks like this turtle might be two or three years old, and this one may be more like three years old because I can see about three layers of rings inside each shoot. Now that's a pretty rough estimate. With the other adult turtle, you can't do this because after the turtle gets bigger and bigger and bigger, the um, shell gets smoother and smoother and you really don't see those individual rings. So these guys are probably something like two to four years old. And they, uh, at this size, frankly, uh, they're in danger. They could be eaten by lots of other things. We've got fish in the lake big enough to eat these. We've definitely got great blue herons that would eat these and snapping turtles would eat them too. So as a size comparison, that this is a two or three year old turtle, what do you think? Maybe 20 years old for this, this adult here. So one of the things I, I also want to show kids, and they always seem to be surprised by this, is that turtles are not necessarily all that slow. Let me show you what happens when I put them on land. You can see how fast they'll run. So you'll notice he's a little bit timid about moving, and I can put my hand in front, and he'll four-wheel drive right over the top of my hand. But once the turtle figures out which way the water is, he'll take off moving along pretty quick.
Okay, now as soon as I let the turtle go, let's see how fast it swims away. That's pretty fast. Uh, Camp Tallulah, there are very few animals we can actually have kids interact with. And these little painted turtles are one of my favorites. But we always stress that they're not a pet. They don't belong to us, they belong to themselves. And with luck, these two or three year old turtles might be able to live here at Camp Sully for decades. And lots of kids will get a chance to see them. So, hope to see you sometime here at camp. This is Jeff for Tallulah Trails. Have fun.